You know when you doom scroll for so long that your phone starts to heat up? This is because our phone circuits have electrical resistance. Let's imagine cars as electrons. Most materials are insulators, where valence bands filled with electrons like cars in a parking lot are separated from the conductance band by a large gap, stopping electrons from conducting. In conductors, these bands are close together, making it possible for our electrons to move and create a current. But just like cars and busy traffic, this conducting band experiences electrical resistance from electrons stopping and turning around, which leads to energy being wasted as heat. But with our demand for computing increasing exponentially, this energy loss is unsustainable. So can we conduct with no resistance at all? In 2007, scientists discovered that some heavy insulators have spin-orbit coupling, a phenomenon which inverts the normal band structure. What's more, a mathematical field called topology tells us that in order to get from the normal to inverted phase, we need some sort of a bridge, a fancy new transitional phase, which physicists gave a suitably fancy name. It's in this new phase where they found special surface states that actually connect across the band gap. Let's pretend this lamington is a topological insulator. The bulk of the material behaves like an insulator with no current, but thanks to our special surface states, the outside perimeter actually conducts electricity. And it does it with zero resistance. Like an electron highway. This is only possible with road rules. Remember spin-orbit coupling? This links an electron's intrinsic orientation, either spin up or spin down, to their actual movement, which separates the flow of current into two one-way lanes, with no turning around allowed. The entire highway is also protected by topology, like an emergency construction crew which fixes deformations like potholes, protecting the flow of electrons. Combine both and you get a zero resistance current with no heat loss. This breakthrough could revolutionize computing efficiency and... Wait, are you even listening?